welcome to X3, One Topic, Three Pundits. I'm your host, John C. Dvorak. I'm here with Andrew Eisner and Joe Ingo, and we're going to discuss some of the items in the news, specifically the, the kind of the news in and around face recognition technology, tagging other people, and then, of course, the auto face recognition. I wrote a column in PC Magazine, people should go look this up, where I've come to the conclusion, I started writing the column, but you know the way it is when you're writing something, and all of a sudden, because you're writing it, you, you, you've talked yourself out of your own point. Yeah. And you, next thing you know, you're discovering what you're really trying to say, which is, I think this is bull crap. Of course. Of course, you would say that. It's, I, I think <laughs> I, they can't get handwriting recognition to work. They can't get voice recognition oh. to work. Then they're going to have this automated face recognition. It's not going to work. They're going to end up face recognizing some judge someplace in Kansas City, saying he's a pervert in no. St. Louis. And the next thing you know, he's going to be dragging these guys to court and suing them because there's not that many variables on a face. I hate to tell uh -huh. you that. Well, it's not 100%, but I mean, even it's if you look at like iPhoto and you import a bunch of, you know, your pictures of your friends and whatnot, it, it does a pretty decent job. I what mean, does it's got decent at least 50, mean to or, you? Half? 50 or 60% uh. accuracy. But that's enough to be able to look at, like, for example, when there was the, the riots after the, the hockey game, they were actually using facial recognition tech recognition technology to point out people in the crowd and then start posting those pictures all over Facebook or whatever software they're using they had for their it. names they were using that to actually find these people's names yeah. and, there and was also a, yeah. they're doing that right now for the London riots they're actually taking pictures well, from a lot of guys are wearing those, those ski masks that oh, makes yeah, it a little easier <laughs> well yeah but there's a lot of people that are just being I'd recognize stupid. that ski mask anywhere but um, <laughs> but but seriously there, there was somebody at Black Hat conference that said uh, that gave a demonstration of using off the shelf this is what got Facebook. me this is what's triggered my column the guy that, that recognized, was able to recognize 30% of the college students walking around a campus using off-the-shelf face recognition technology. And so, supposedly he could actually get their social security number within four Well, guesses, yeah, that, that's another kind of scary, scary aspect is that yeah. if somebody's just walking down the street, they say, okay, I know who he is and I can get his social security number. Wear so, a hat. <laughs> wear a ski mask. Ski masks are going to be very big, yeah. So... <laughs> I, 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 so you're a big believer in Well, this. I think it's coming, you know, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I it's mean... Gonna, it's uh, going to cause problems because I'm telling you, there's not that many different faces. And yeah, 30%, I guess you could do that. Yeah. You know, you can get lucky and get 30%. But that's so low. Yeah. yeah. Well, 30% is even a decent and I can't, rate. I mean, I think it's the false positives that are the problem. Yeah, not I think that you're they can right get about 30%. Yeah. You're going to have, oh, look who else we saw yeah. here. There's Andrew yeah. Eisner yeah, there at right. the, yeah, yeah. Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't yeah. even like I have football. an alibi. Yeah. What's he doing in there? <laughs> What's he doing in the stands? Yeah. But when you got a situation where you got like a riot or something like that, and you have thousands of people out just destroying property, yeah. my and you advice could use is facial to recognition grimace. To grimace. <laughs> uh, like this. <laughs> yes, that does actually work, because sometimes I've had pictures of people who were grimacing, and then I took a picture of a dog and actually matched the two of them up. I'm dead serious. I've seen that happen many times. So it's not perfect. It's not a foolproof thing, but it's you know you can recognize people in a crowd that way. Well, you but know, Germany you can also now is, recognize with somebody eyeballing the pictures. Who knows what they're doing? Well, yeah, but you got thousands and thousands of pictures to go through, and then you've got to match that to people. That's pretty much impossible. But How Germany, about not having is, riots? How about maybe assuaging the public from away from rioting in the first place? Yeah. You drive them to rioting, and then you run this off on them, and it's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a great idea, but that's never going to happen. Yeah, well, it should. <laughs> well, yeah, in a perfect world. But uh, Germany has told uh, Facebook that they have to stop using their uh, facial recognition. I think it's Germany it's told them that they have to stop using their uh, facial recognition technology. But the problem is, is that all those public profiles, you can have an external service that goes through and starts crawling all of those and building a huge database. I mean, I'm sure the yeah, U.S. Sure government sure. has that right now. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, my advice, grow a beard. And Grimace. And Grimace. <laughs> You've been watching X3.